Kapi Nation, welcome to your reading. Um, actually, I had started your reading and then my brother called, so I had to take the, fo the phone call because um, he was at the airport. And I was explaining to you <laughs> that um, the weather of the reading was this hermit. And I could shuffle the cards again, but I'm not going to because I think it's a very um, important message. You've been getting some really weird readings recently. Uh, a two-party story, a, a two-line kind of story. So, but what's happening right now in that connection, and I've just shuffled these cards, is that everybody's in hermit mode and they're contemplating what, what makes me happy. Who would I feel happiest with? Who is going to provide that environment where I can be in a state of peace, where I can be my best self, uh, and that kind of thing. So everybody's in their own corner. There's not much communication happening right now because people are going deep within to really find out, you know, what is happiness made of? Okay. And Kapi, you know, this is a, it can be, this can be a very soul searching question for you because, you know, your motto is I achieve and this achievement, you know, it's, it's by material things. So now looking within, t thinking about the, the intangible, intangible things that make you happy, um, it's going to be quite a revelation. Okay. So let's get into this reading and see what's happening. Okay. Let's see if that two part storyline still plays out. All right. So copy your person when they think about you and they think about this connection. All right. They're not speaking their truth. There's a truth that they have to speak, but they aren't speaking that truth. I might pull another card in that one, depending on which cards come out. So when they think about you, this mental energy, um, they're not speaking their truth. There's a truth that they want to communicate to you, but they're not doing it. Maybe you guys aren't speaking at all, quite frankly. Okay. They see you. They see someone that's confident. You're abundant in the material world. You're doing well for yourself. You might be dealing with an earth sign. And they see you as someone who's not afraid to speak their truth. You are standing in your power. You are this queen of swords. And you, they know that you can cut them off at any turn. But they're not, they're not putting any energy into this connection. Let me see what this means. Is it that they're not going to be defensive anymore? Or they're not putting any energy into this connection? Let me see what that um, seven of wands means. So on the board, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have earth signs. And then we have this seven of wands. Let's see what that means. Does it mean that they're going to fight for this connection? or They're, they're, they're releasing some kind of toxic situation. Now, this toxic situation could be a third party external to you guys, or it could be this connection, or it could be both because I, I got feedback from quite a number of people and it could be both as in they're releasing a toxic connection to be with you or they're releasing this connection, which they consider to, to be a toxic connection to be with someone else, or you are releasing this connection to, because you think it's toxic to you and you are going, going to be with somebody else. So there's a lot, it seems like there's a lot of people in this mix from the, the three months that I've been doing these readings. It's been a very complicated situation and that's why I've always left it for last, but I was like, mm, I'm not doing my Capricorns that this time. So there is a very complicated situation that's happening here, but either way, somebody is leaving a toxic situation to be with their love. In their heart space when they think about you, Kathy. I'm kind of invested in this because my moon is in Capricorn. And even this confuses me sometimes too. Okay. When they think about you, this person um, wants this wheel of fortune to turn in their favor. But right now, they are learning karmic lessons. They may even be with a karmic partner. And maybe that's what they're thinking of releasing. Yeah, but in the meantime, they're just going to stalk your ass. <laughs> and be like very emotionally immature. So there might be little petty fights. But behind all of this is the fact that somebody in this connection woke to fuck up. Somebody woke up and realized that they were not happy or their happiness lay with someone else. 
So we have Sagittarius energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. I think that's Jupiter energy, right? All right. So what's blocking this connection? Again, the truth. The truth will set everything in and everybody in this drama free, but people aren't speaking it. What's blocking this connection? People refusing to go deep within. Or maybe they won't be self-reflective at first. They didn't, re they didn't know themselves. Ah, 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 that is it. They didn't know themselves and what made them happy. This is Virgo energy here again. So they're now waking up to what their happiness. And they're recognizing that this connection, in order for this connection to be to go forward, to move forward, there must be some kind of stability. Um, this kind of in and out energy, on again, off again, on again, off again, it, it needs to stop. So the inconsistency needs to stop. So somebody is walking away from a toxic situation to be with the love of their life. This is this is the message. So what will be their actions towards you by the end of the month? Drama, people. There is going to be drama. We have that five of wands. But I'm thinking that this drama, it may not be the people involved. It might be the people around them. Um, family, friends, you know, everybody's been... It's like there's too many hands in the situation here. Too much interference. Too much people in your business, Cappy. Yeah, so somebody is not feeling for love. They're walking away from a toxic situation. And that might cause a little chaos. But, but there's no love here. You are not feeling the love. So you might be walking away to be with the love of your life. Or the person that you're with is walking away to be with the love of your life. Either way, there are endings happening here. So that there can be beginnings. And I think that was the energy of the last read as well endings so that there can be beginnings an end of a karmic cycle the beginning of another cycle so it's like a real kind of scorpionic energy happening here real, real pluto energy which is your energy too right capricorn your pluto so it's about destruction for something to be reborn it's the same it's a flame freaking reading it's the same reading let me see why that ace of um, wands is in reverse let me see why that ace of wands is in That eight of wands is in Yeah, some yes, they might not be telling you, but somebody um, is looking to take a leap of faith. The people in this connection here are tired of choosing something other than love. Right now, they're ready for love, and they're realizing that their love lies elsewhere. So somebody's ending something so that they can walk into something else. Okay, Cappy? <sighs> Guys, even I get confused with the Capricorn readings. I try to do them in the morning because it's a very complicated situation here. Very, very complicated. Lots of people involved. Lots of interference. Lots of interference. Okay? So I hope this helps you. Please like, share, subscribe as we keep up um, with the energy of this very complicated situation that's unfolding for Cappy. But I'm getting the feeling that it's really nearing an end. If people have not made that leap of faith as yet, they, they're about to. They are about to. It, it's, it's coming to an end, okay? All right, guys. So take care. Okay, bye.